Hello everyone, I'm James Mears. I'm going to be a professor for pharmacology. I just want to take a few moments to outline Blackboard, maybe decrease some anxiety and talk about the course a little bit and introduce myself. Some of you or many of you all already know from theory, however I may see some new faces. In any case, pharmacology is probably one of the toughest courses in this program and it's very important that you come to class weekly and that you pre-read prior to coming to class. At least that's the information that I've got from students in previous years. I want to outline a few things about the course website and most importantly the textbook that you'll need to buy should look like this. This is Pharmacology for Nurses, a Pathophysiology Approach. It's written by Adams. You'll notice that it's the Canadian edition. Very important that you get the Canadian edition. Also about this um, textbook, you don't need to worry. We won't be reading it cover to cover. However, we will be reading specific chapters. And inside these chapters, there's uh, prototypes for drugs and also prototypes for classification of drugs. So this would be an example um, in chapter 36 of drugs for peptic ulcers. And this is um, alpha gel or ammonium hydroxide. There's always a generic and a brand name for every medication. Um, and so it outlines why it's used, why you would give it, what happens in the body, any special uh, nursing considerations, and any side effects to watch out for. Very important. You may want to be making cue cards with your drugs. Um, and also, you're going to notice that there's blue bullets. Please know these blue bullets. Very important testworthy point. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Last but not least, you'll need to pick up a drug guidebook. Uh, doesn't matter which drug guidebook you pick up. There's multiple ones available in the, drug, in the um, bookstore at the college. Delmar is a common one, and you can also upload this to your iPad and bring it with you to clinical. And Davies is another one. Though, and there's also Mosby's and Lippincott's. In any case, if you uh, open up to any drug, you're going to notice that some of this writing is in red. Very important that if the publisher has taken the time to change the color of the font, bold or underline something, that you understand that about that medication. Just a little bit about the website. If you click on Blackboard, the home page is where you'll find any important announcements. The information page, if you click on that, you're going to see a course outline and a course description. Uh, you can print that off at your leisure. Under content, this is where you'll be going weekly uh, to find out what we're going to be talking about that week. Very important to stay ahead of your readings, if at all possible. I know that we throw a lot at you in, in nursing. It's a really challenging course, but if you can, try to stay ahead. The first link is a welcome link. That would be uh, what you're reading right now. And the second link is your online textbook resource. Whether or not you picked up this textbook uh, yet, you can still click on the online resource. So Adams, the author, has made a resource website available. Whether you buy the textbook or not, you can use this resource. So just click on that link. And each week, there's um, CNR e questions or your registration examination questions that you can actually click on to assess how well you know this material prior to coming to class. Pretty helpful. Last but not least, underneath that, there is a Medline Plus uh, web link. If you click on that, that's a pretty credible website that uh, provides health information to health professionals and also the public. Chatham Kent Health Alliance uses this website as a resource on all of their floors, so you may want to become familiar with how to use it. Just click on that link, type anything in the search box, whether it's Coumadin, whether it's um, toxic plasmosis, and it will give you um, a very good definition and some credible, credible web resources for learning more about that um, topic. Basically, it's Google for health professionals. Uh, each week will be broken up uh, into chapters, and you're going to notice week 1, January the 7th, 2013. We're going to be talking about chapters 3, 4, and 5 in this textbook. Right now, some of you that may not have bought this textbook or may have accidentally bought the wrong textbook are probably wondering, can I get away with uh, Lily? Or can I get away with not ordering a textbook? The answer to, not getting, or to getting away with not ordering a textbook, absolutely zero. You will not do well. Lily, if you've already bought that or acquired that from a former student, you can keep that book. It's a very good book. Uh, it's one we've used in the past. You'll just have to juggle around and follow along with our readings. Okay, I hope that decreases some anxiety for some. Under week one, if you click on uh, this, the CNO standard of medication, that's the CNO's medication standard for safely administering medications. We'll constantly be referring to that. Also underneath that, there's a medication research uh, sheet. You're going to find these very helpful, or at least students in the past have found these very helpful. 
click on that um, and what I've done is I provided a um, tool that you can look on I'll just turn this around for a second and in the first column it's going to talk about what you need or the names of the medication so there's usually two names of a medication generic and a trade also what lab values or vital signs it will increase or decrease or whether or not it will affect any vital signs in reference to Coumadin it increases your INR and your bleeding studies uh, it doesn't affect your vital signs. Why did the doctor order this? Well, there's multiple reasons. You'll have to know from your patient why they were put on Coumadin. Typically, it may be for atrial fibrillation or to prevent a blood clot if they're at risk for a blood clot or a stroke. Uh, and that's an ischemic stroke, not a hemorrhagic stroke. Last but not least, there's another column of when you would hold, stop, or continue this medication. With um, Coumadin, since it increases your INR, we wouldn't want to give it if, it if your INR is already elevated significantly above high or if they're bleeding. And remember, bleeding can be subtle or hidden. You can have occult bleeding in the stool. You can have bleeding at your gum line, bleeding when you shave, bruising. Um, all these things are important to teach your patient to report to you as a nurse. If your patient is going for surgery, you definitely do not want them to be on a blood thinner. Last but not least, you're going to notice that I've put... Um, a reversal agent in brackets. Most medications that are life-threatening will have a reversal agent. You'll find that in the very last column or paragraph underneath the drug when you're looking it up in the drug guidebook. For Coumadin and, and INR, sorry, for Coumadin and Warfarin, it's vitamin K. And also, any special health teaching uh, that you'll need to teach your patient or their family about this medication when they're taking it. So, reporting any bleeding, um, it's going to thin the blood to break up, or sorry, to prevent um, blood clots. Keep an eye on your dietary intake of vitamin K because that is the reversal agent. Um, and also wearing a medication alert bracelet to let anyone else know that they are on a blood thinner. Turning you around for a second. Thanks for bearing with me. Okay, so ultimately that's uh, the course in a nutshell. If you've got any questions, um, please click on the discussion board. You're going to notice that I've already created a discussion board and I've left questions up from last year's students. So click on course tools, click on discussion board, and you're going to, you can read what students from last year asked. They did post anonymously. Please note that you can post anonymously. However, uh, if I need to find out who posted something, I can do that with the uh, use of IT services, so they're very important that you always post things professionally and respectfully. So if there's something that you're finding challenging, post it as a question. Maybe another student can help you out, or I can always answer it. Um, all right, ultimately, we'll, we'll do a better job of class one. I just wanted to give you a quick synopsis of what pharmacology all entails. Have a look at the um, course website link and also the textbook website and the Medline Plus website. Try not to spend too much of your holidays prepping for next semester. Uh, the first, we don't really get into drugs or medications right away. We get into the anatomy and physiology of your liver and your kidneys and how uh, medications are processed in the body. Um, some very important practice principles about high alert medications. In any case, I don't want you to stress too much. I just wanted to introduce the course to you. If you've got any questions, please send me an email through Blackboard or please, please post it uh, in the discussion board and I'll answer it and everyone will be able to see the answer. Take care. Hope all is well. See you next semester.